Hi guys, uh, I got a shelf uh, built for my uh, trains. Um, I have a glass shelf where my locomotives sit. And um, I got all my freight cars here. I don't know if uh, Atherne is making a new box, but um, this freight car was uh, $49.99 and I don't know. Uh, it's right there but it's uh, a passenger car and it's Atherne and I don't like that he said that's just where it got damaged well that damage could damage the train car but it ain't damaged that's a good thing but it's got pictures on the back and I don't know but it says Atherne on the bottom of the freight car but I, I don't know I really don't know if it's real. I think the train car's Atherne, but I think you give it the wrong box. Don't ask. Maybe they're making a new box or something, or maybe that's an old box. I don't know. Um, I got all my freight cars. All of them. Even the ones I'm, uh, working on. But, I got my, uh, pet freight, uh, flat car, my hopper, my box car. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed you all this F40PH. But um, it's a Santa Fe F40PH number 100, and uh, I weathered it. I uh, thought maybe y'all might like to see it. I can't remember if I showed it to you or not. And uh, y'all seen this, the GP20 I'm working on. Um, I got uh, my Santa Fe sitting up here. Um, CSX sitting in uh, my Atherin boxcar. My Norfolk Southern, GP38-2, GP40-2, BNSF, Santa Fe, GP40-2, my CSX AC4400 CW. And then up here, I got all my uh, weathered freight cars. Check out that weathering, guys. I'm bringing the lamp closer so you can see it. Y'all think of that. I know some of y'all can't see the weather because my room's so dark. But there you go. It's weathered on top. And I got that one. And it's really good. I think that's my best. The uh, center flow. But the trucks on all of them look awesome. I think the tanker is uh, one of the greatest out of all of them. One of the greatest. Um, and then behind it, we got the uh, other freight cars. Uh, they're sitting down there. And then, I don't know if y'all can see it, but the gondola is uh, sitting down there. And um, then I got this one. And. Uh, I'm still working on it, which you want to see something cool. Top comes off of it. There's no seats in it yet, which you can put seats in it. But I like it that the top comes off. I think it's cool. And it just pops off and pops back on. So that's pretty much it. See? And then this one that I uh, painted and uh, wrote the, uh, that, uh, the uh, NS road number on it with uh, this black sharpie and um i can draw ns symbols really well i can draw train symbols really well um i had a friend on uh, train life his name is uh derek odea he uh or derek odea or whatever i don't know um he uh, asked if the uh, train had uh, the box couplers or whatever you call them. Uh, that's the couplers that it has on it. All of them have it, but the um, the Union Pacific does not. It is uh, a little different from all the others. I'll show you. I got all sorts of uh, stuff for it. It is a battery powered. I uh, sorry about that, but um, it's a uh, U30C 
uh, Union Pacific, but that's the couplers that's on it. And um, there's a little thing you need. It looks kind of like a wrench, and uh, I got those with it too. As you can see, there's the wrench looking thing. And pretty much all you do is you uh, take the locomotive and you take the freight car and you just take this and this and then you just take it and then listen. That's all you do. And then it's coupled. It's not detailed like all the others, but it is uh, metal. I wish there was a way I could prove it to you. Um, plus, I'm going to uh, show you something else that I know not much uh, people show. There you go. Make a mess. <clears throat> Alrighty, here we go. Um,. I'm going to uh, show y'all, and maybe I can tap on the metal, but it is die cast metal. The uh, train cars and locomotive is die cast metal. The only thing that's plastic on it is the trucks and the the uh, bottom of the body, like the uh, handrails and you know stuff like that. The cab of it. All right. Don't want to lose that screw. Um, it just comes apart with one screw, which is right here in the front, if you can see. And, um, as you can see right there is where the charge is, and, uh, it comes up, and then back here is where it, uh, just sits. But there's the motor in it, um, that's it, there's the little battery and everything the gear for the back wheel and the front wheel is non-operated uh, it works very well I have ran it for the past three years it just needs lubrication just like all the others plus the cab of it will pop off and it'll go right back on plus I don't know if I, you can hear it but listen can you hear that? that's a uh, metal and um you know, you can kind of look at it and tell it's metal because it's got that tan look to it but um I'm gonna get back to the shelf but uh that's the uh, train train cars are metal that one's plastic it's Bachman box and everything Southern Pacific the other one, those two are the ones that go together. Those three are the ones that'll only couple together. And then this is the one that'll couple to this locomotive. So as you'll see, see, couples right up. Just one thing, the couplers don't turn on it. So, yeah. And uh, this is uh, the shelf. Again, I'm back to it. Um, I uh, have it sitting up here. I have a lot of room sitting down here, so it sits up here. And it's working very well. It's holding all my freight cars and locomotives, so I like that. Um, rate, comment, um, subscribe. Uh, I had a friend on a, a good friend of mine on Train Life. Uh, his name is Lucas. He uh, wanted me to make a video on this. Uh, so uh, I did, and I was going to anyways because I was so excited that I actually got it. So. Um, just rate, subscribe, um, I, uh, gotta go. Okay.